the beat. Uh, yeah, my name is uh, Jay Wilson. I'm the game director at Diablo 3, and we're here at Gamescom talking about uh, mostly Diablo 3. <laughs> Typically, the way Diablo has worked is once you complete normal difficulty, you unlock nightmare difficulty, and you can replay the game at that level, and get more, more items, and fight higher end monsters, and more, get more challenges. Then you unlock hell difficulty, which is similarly more challenging, better items, yeah. scarier monsters. One of the things we wanted to do was um, really create an environment for the player at the end of the game. So what we've decided to do is add a fourth difficulty, what we call Inferno. And an Inferno difficulty is essentially all max level difficulty. Um, the player hit max level is 60. All the content in Inferno is minimum level 61. So the player can never out-level the content. There's a problem that occurred in Diablo 2 where um, once you got past about the mid 80s, none of the monsters kept up with you and you essentially out leveled them. Items became meaningless and power became meaningless because you just didn't need it to fight what you're fighting. What we wanted to make sure was that there was a, essentially a playground that spanned the entire game content that allowed the player to have challenges through all that content and be able to play and, ha and continue to be challenged and continue to do the treasure hunt in a way that was really compelling and challenging. Most of what we're talking about are things related to uh, in-game. Um, we are um, talking about the you know, details about how um, runes un you know, work, and uh, essentially the way they work is only the first couple of levels unlock in normal difficulty, and then with each new difficulty, new, uh, new levels unlock. We also make uh, monsters more aggressive um, and change a lot of their attributes. We give them uh, some additional powers for some of the randomly generated bosses. Um, and we um, have a whole new tiers of items. In Diablo 2, when you go to higher difficulties, you, the items improved in quality, but they just reused the art from uh, the, the uh, first difficulty. In Diablo 3, every difficulty has new art that gets introduced for the items. So there's uh, new, uh, new armor, uh, new weapons, new unique items, and then set items, which really only uh, fully unlock kind of towards the end of the game. So the way we look at the auction now, so it, we, the reaction is more or less what we expected. Um, and it was about two-thirds positive, um, which is actually about best case. Like, we were like, oh, that's, we didn't really expect more than that. Um, and then a third that were either optimistic or cautious to negative. Um, a lot of the third that was more negative, um, from our observation, just didn't quite understand the feature. Um, they either thought we were selling items directly to people, or they looked at Diablo and said, well, this is... You know, this will ruin the. They, they looked at Diablo almost more like a game like World of Warcraft, and said, "Well, this will ruin it because everybody can buy their way to the top or trade their way to the top." Um, and really, if you look at uh, Diablo 2 and the original Diablo, um, there was there was no difference. Um, people bought items in Diablo 2; they just didn't buy them through a service that we provided. Um, they also traded items, and that was fully supported because the core of Diablo is a trading game. Um, the idea being that the best items you're going to get are going to come through trade. So we looked at the, what people were doing in Diablo 2 and we looked at the fact that the community already went online and bought items. So we said, well, if this is what players want to do, rather than having them go to these kind of third-party websites and risk you know, account fraud and theft and those types of things, and, and you know, not getting their item and not for... You know, uh, just, yeah, generally getting ripped off. We said, well, why don't we provide a service to them that they obviously already want. Um, so, yeah, I think some people either misunderstood or just flat out don't want real money to be involved yeah. in the game at all. My general response to them is, if they didn't think real money was involved in Diablo 2, they were fooling themselves. Because it absolutely was. And it didn't ruin that game, so we don't believe it'll ruin Diablo 3. Diablo 3 is, we're, like I said, we're working really hard to get it done. We're going to have the beta out very soon. Um, and the actual release date is still to be decided. So as we like to say, when it's done.